Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Suburban Rifleman. It's another evening shoot after work. It's Friday night, and I am back out here with the Garmin Zero C1 Pro radar chronograph. I hope I'm not overwhelming everyone with these uh, chronograph videos, but there's a bunch of different ammo I've been wanting to test, and I'm really up against it tonight. Not so much with loss of daylight as the fact that there are thunderstorms coming in shortly. I have a target out at 100 yards. As you can see, I've got my AR-15 here with the uh, Ballistic Advantage SPR barrel, 1 in 7 twist, and I'm going to keep talking to a minimum here. As we all know, with the AR-15, the hot ticket is 1 in 7 twist, and the hot ticket for 1 in 7 twist, as far as ammunition goes, is a 77 grain open tip match bullets. By far the most common or the most desirable is the Sierra Match King open tip match. There are obviously a few other companies that are making 77 grain open tip match bullets. The stuff that's loaded, well even if you're a hand loader, the Sierra Match Kings are fairly expensive bullets and if you're buying loaded ammo Anything in 5.56 that's loaded with 77 grain Sierra Match Kings tends to be fairly expensive. So recently, or maybe not so recently, I think a couple of years ago, AAC, which I think most of you probably know, is sold by Palmetto State Armory, and I think it's also sort of under the umbrella of Palmetto State Armory. I think they're the ones that are actually manufacturing this ammo. Came out with two different loads featuring 77 grain open tip match bullets and both of them are relatively inexpensive more affordable than a lot of the match ammo you're going to find so there's one load that features 77 grain sierra match kings and there's an and i think that's labeled as match ammo then there's this load and i bought a bunch of this on sale um i don't know a couple months ago and i haven't had a chance to test it out yet this is called Precision Ammo, and this is using a 77 grain open tip match bullet of undisclosed manufacture. Maybe somebody out there knows uh, what the provenance of this bullet is, but it's not a Sierra Match King. And I've heard all kinds of things about this ammo, that it's um, very, very consistent or it's all over the map. I will show you the box. You can see the barcode on the end and also there's a lot number here which i don't know how to decode this but there's also a uh, a qr code there you can pause the video and screenshot that and uh, imagine maybe find out more about this batch of ammo so i've got 20 rounds here small sample size i've got the garmin zero c1 set up and i actually have my other phone filming the chronograph so I don't have to call out all the shots. So without any further ado, I don't want to make this a long video. The video I posted yesterday was like over 20 minutes and I know people don't like that. So we're just going to go ahead and shoot. Then we will take a look at uh, the target to see how my rifle's shooting these bullets. Of course, that won't tell you anything. My rifle might shoot this completely different than your rifle, but the chronograph data should be fairly consistent with uh, across rifle to rifle, and I'm really interested to see what the the extreme spread and the standard deviation are here. So, let's go ahead and take a few shots. I've got one target, but it's got two bowls, and I've got two old Colt 20 round mags. Each of these has 10 rounds, and it's all the same ammo, it's all out of this box. So, let's see how it performs, and hopefully my phone doesn't fall down. Right, here we go. Okay, this is going to be a weird group. 
I'm gonna aim a little differently. Twenty six ninety five. I'm not sure what that last shot was. This is claimed to be 2,700 feet per second, so that's that's pretty close. Twenty-six eighty-three. Twenty-seven oh four. I can tell you my rifle does not like this ammo. Twenty-six eighty-eight point one. Twenty-six eighty-one point seven. Twenty-six ninety-two point two. This is very consistent so far. Twenty-six eighty point six. Twenty six sixty seven point two. I think that's the largest uh, deviation so far. Twenty six ninety four point seven. All right, that's ten rounds, and I was going to shoot two groups, but the way this is shooting. I'm just going to put all 20 rounds, well, 19 rounds into the same group because the first round was way off. Uh, I would definitely have to re-zero this scope if I wanted to use this ammo in this rifle, but I can tell you right now, this barrel does not like this ammo. That doesn't mean that the ammo's bad, and actually, so far, that one was 2694. It's right at 2700 for the most part. Let's keep going and see what this turns into. Twenty six forty nine point one twenty six seventy two point six twenty six eighty nine point zero. I guess I didn't have to say point zero. 2690.2. I would imagine my barrel's probably getting pretty hot at this point. 2702.9. six. 2649.7. And that looks like that was all 20 rounds. So we'll go down and take a quick look at the target and then we'll see what the chronograph has to say. So this is not terribly impressive. Uh, it looks like a three and a half inch group, three and a half minutes of angle, give or take. This was my first shot. I was aiming right there and I hit here. So all the rest of these were shot using this as my aiming point because I didn't really want to take time to adjust the scope. So as you can see, my ballistic advantage one in seven SPR barrel does not seem to care for this AAC 77 grain OTM 
ammo very much, but uh, you might have a completely different experience. Let's go take a look at what the chronograph has to say, because I think it's actually a bit better than what this target is indicating. So this target is not at all impressive. Three and a half inches at 100 yards is pretty abysmal, considering that this is a, an SPR barrel made by uh, Ballistic Advantage, and it shoots other ammo. Even M855 is practically all going into one hole at 100 yards. So I do have another rifle with one in seven twist barrel, and I have two more with one in eights. I know that one in eight is generally considered to be kind of marginal for 77 grain bullets, but I bought 200 rounds of this, so I'm definitely going to try it out in a couple of other rifles. But let's see what the chronograph has to say, because I think it was a little bit better than what my target indicated. So according to the Garmin Zero, it really wasn't all that great. We had a minimum of 26.49.1. A max of 2706.2, an extreme spread of 57.1, that's not very good, um, especially considering the 60-year-old surplus German 7.62 by 51 the other day, I think I had an extreme spread of 29 for belted machine gun ammo from 60 years ago. This is supposed to be precision ammo. We had an extreme spread of 57. Standard deviation of 16.7. So, not really that good. Not that impressive out of this rifle. We'll definitely try it out of a couple of other rifles and see how it does there. And when I do that, I'll get it on camera. And I hope to see each of you here then. Later, guys.